hi today we're going to be talking about my ginger shot experience so if you didn't see the short video which went viral here it is just want to start this video off by saying that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dermatologist. Everything that I'm saying after this, it's just my experience and what I think it did for me. So today we're going to talk about why I did it, what benefits there are, and the recipe and the Q&A. Obviously the first reason why I did it was because I have a lot of cystic acne. I saw that it was trending on TikTok and I just wanted to try it out for myself to see if it actually works. Especially around my period, I always get like at least three or four like bumps that I can't do anything about and it just completely sucks. So I tried this out and it seemed to work really, really well. Also, it tastes really, really good. At least the way that I make it. When I restarted the challenge, my face was in absolute chaos. Probably because I had just taken a flight. Also, I started retinol and everything was just peeling and my skin barrier was broken. And I found that ginger shots calm down inflammation and prevent new cystic acne from popping up so that the skincare can actually, you know, help my skin and not have to keep dealing with new breakouts. So let's get into the recipe. I did change a few things here and there along the way and made it an easier process for myself. Because if you have to make it every single day, it's a lot. A lot of cleaning, a lot of washing, especially because we have to sieve stuff One, out. two, three, fuck it. Is this lemon sorbet? It's the size of my face. <laughs> yeah. I'm in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you how I make my ginger shots. I have my ginger, lemon, and honey that I just bought. This is massive. <laughs> it's like as big as my face, but my lemon, which is also massive. So I obviously Google these things because I'm not a doctor or anything, but the maximum amount of ginger you're supposed to have in a day is about a tablespoon. I generally only use about this much for four days, which essentially makes it about half a tablespoon per day. And all you have to do is wash it. I used to peel this with a spoon just to get the skin off, but I realized that, you know what, I'm just filtering it out anyway, and it takes so much time to skin it that there's no point in doing that anymore for me. And a lot of people in the comments were also saying that the skin is beneficial as well. So yeah. And this is my little blender. So I need wait to help me open this because I don't want to ruin my nails. And open this for me, please. Thank you. <laughs> this should last me about four days or even five days. Yeah, I'll just put it anywhere. Oh no, it's not city. Hey, there you go. I wrote down a list of questions that people ask me from Instagram. Make sure to follow me. <laughs> so the first question that I think we've already answered is can you store the ginger shots or do you have to make them every day? Obviously, you don't have to make them every day. For 
for myself. I don't like to go past four days because when it hits the fifth day, I feel like it's kind of stale and I would rather to just remake it. Also, you know like the ginger color itself. Like you can't really tell what's going on in there. If like bacteria is growing or like it's moldy, you really aren't able to tell because it's cloudy. And what I do is just I just take a little cling film, I cover it, and I store it in the fridge. How long did it take results to show? I would say I definitely felt like it was helping two weeks in, but a month is the best way to tell when you go through your whole cycle, girl cycle, and when it's hormonal. If during a period you don't get as many breakouts, it's like, oh, what's happening? How strong were the shots? And how much did it cost to make every shot? Okay, so I make this huge batch because it's many ginger shots in one. I feel like every shot itself probably cost me about a dollar. Just depends where you live, right? I live in Canada. It's it's manageable. If you have a very acidic stomach, I hear that ginger shots can be bad for you. Ginger shots are heaty, warming, so just be careful with what you're getting into if you decide to do this for yourself. Yeah, it's like really important that you are be careful with your health. So if you have any like issues, make sure you go talk to your doctor first. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>